All right, and welcome to another update. It's really turning into a guitar. Anyways, I forgot to carve out this uh, access cutaway to get to the upper frets, so chiseling. Again, gouges would have been much better, but the really small chisel here does a decent job at faking the radius. Also, I decided that I wanted to extend the bevel on this horn all the way up to the neck. And since I was still waiting for the replacement part for my jointing plane to get delivered, I decided that I was more or less done carving so I could take the time to sand the back and the sides. Starting with 80 grit discs to really smooth over all the chisel marks and uh, really refine the shapes in the corners that I wanted. From there up to 120, 150, and finally 220 grit. I'll still need to do some touch-ups after patching the holes from the uh, thicknessing misadventure and sand the front after I route the cavities for pickups and drill the holes for the bridge and the tailpiece, but this at least gave me something to do. The new part for the plane isn't all that I was hoping it would be, but it's still something, so I set to work. The idea here is that angling the top gives a reference surface that'll slope the bottom of the pocket, and the neck will be at that angle when it's put in. This is because tunematic bridges are taller than fingerboards, and without the angle, the strings would be way too far up from the frets. So this neck that I bought is causing me a little bit of a problem, and while I still think this is going to save me time and pain in the long run, uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit sticky and kind of unfortunate. Yeah, so this neck is designed for a Gibson Les Paul Jr. style guitar, I think, which is why it has this long tail after the fretboard, uh, because those guitars have a single pickup in the uh, bridge position and a pick guard to cover the fact that you route out this whole thing then you glue it all down and you can just put a pick guard in front of it and oh look it's nice and nice and party uh, which causes me a problem because I'm not really using it as intended um, and that the fact that I want to put a, a pickup here this is what is making my life interesting is the length of this this tongue so what I think I'm gonna do here is effectively cut the tongue on this uh, guitar neck short so that I don't have to rat out as much uh, but that just does leave me with a sticky situation since I don't have as much support as is quite intended but I think I'll still have um, enough because I'll have the entire butt here the bottom all the way and most of the sides I'm only going to cut as deeply as I need to in order to fit this neck pickup, I'm not going to go like all the way in. This drill press attachment really isn't the best thing in the world, but it's what I got. It's still terrifying, so I really undershot the depth in the name of caution. Also, because I'm using a brad bit and really didn't want to poke that big spike through the back of the guitar. But it hogged out a fair amount of material, and that'll make life easier on my chisels. And back to chiseling. Working at this angle absolutely sucks. Things went a lot better when I got it into the vise, but it was still a really long and tedious process of pairing and testing the neck to see if it fit at all, and then trying to set the depth appropriately. My hand router plane doesn't actually go deep enough to get to the bottom of this pocket, so I had to chisel off the whole thing anyway and try to get the right angle. where I really didn't feel comfortable going any deeper, so I had to uh, plane the neck down until it sat at a good level. The angle was still too steep, so I had to keep adjusting the pocket until I got it right, but I ran out of memory card before that. At this point, the neck fits very tightly, which is absolutely astounding to me. I still want to wood fill the pocket, though, since it's not exactly pretty and there's a lot of gaps. But then I'll finalize the location of the, uh, the bridge, the tailpiece, the controls, and move on to the pickup routing. Anyway, cheers.